How are you guys doing? Today's a great day. Just got done showing another property for a client. And uh, well, I actually wanted to talk about, you know, the real estate market right now here in Las Vegas, Nevada. You know, the medium was at uh, 240000 and you know, it was having a tough time, you know, finding properties at that pr uh, price point, but we were able to still get deals done. And now, you know, a lot of our clients are at the price point 300, 350, even got clients up to 450. And the majority of those clients right now, I'm having a hard time really getting them, you know, properties at that price point, you know, when you start getting at that price point, I un really understand that, you know, there are certain things that you do, you know, want for a home, but it, it's really getting tougher in today's market, believe it or not. I mean, homes anywhere from, you know, 240 all the way up to down to, I mean, up to 450. I mean, average days on the market right now is less than 28 days. I mean, we're going out, we're looking at properties, submitting offers. Some of them are getting uh, denied and rejected. Now, you know, I had a client that um, they're at a price point at three hundred fifty thousand. We literally had to submit four offers before we actually got our offer which rejected. And this is a cash deal. We won't. We weren't really asking for that many concessions, other than you know to pay for the buyer's closing costs, which is two thousand dollars, but. You know, after submitting four offers, you know, we finally got our offer accepted and, and you know, I'm working with other clients right now. It's just getting really, really hard on the market. So it's just really important that, you know, if you're just jumping in the market that you really work with an agent that's really aggressive. Not only aggressive, they have really have to be knowledgeable on what's going on with the real estate market and what are customary practices and how to structure a deal so that way you know, seller and buyer are actually happy with the terms of the agreements. So that's very important in today's market. So keep that in mind. Also, if you can actually pay for your own closing costs, that's another plus on the selling side because what happens is the seller, they don't really care about the buyer. All they care about is when the dust settles and they go to the closing table, how much money are they going to make? So, if you are a buyer around the 240 range and you guys can pay for your own closing costs, it is highly recommended that you pay for your closing costs. Now, there are certain circumstances where we can actually ask for closing costs. Obviously, if the home is damaged or it's been on the market more than 28 days, that tells you there's something wrong with that home. Number one, it's overpriced or the condition of the property so the seller will reduce or pay for closing costs because of those items that are actually wrong with the property because they just don't have the money to uh, fix the uh, property in top condition and that's where you're gonna get more or better of a deal also I do want to mention uh, short sales short sales right now are only six percent of the market but if you take a look at the closing ratio, it's about 150 days before an offer gets accepted. Why? Because majority of your buyers in today's market want to move into a property within 45 days of a fully executed contract. So they just don't want to wait around. Now what that means to you is that you can literally get a better deal if you're at that price point or you can't find the home that you're looking for. Because again, buyers, they just don't I mean, I'm sorry, sellers, the short sales, they want, they want to sell the property, okay? They want to get rid of it. And the buyers, they want to buy a property, but they don't want to get into a short sale just due to the fact that it just takes forever. Not only that, they may not even get the property. And what I mean by that is, you know, between buyer and seller, if you negotiate a price point of $300,000, the bank may come back, even though the, the seller had signed and approved of that purchase price, the bank may want three twenty-five. So to alleviate all those problems, all you have to do is really do your homework and make sure you're working with the right agent before you get into a deal like that. Now, if you are just thinking about getting into the marketplace, I always preach this all the time. Education is key. 
especially buying a home in today's market. Now, we do provide a free consultation. What consists of those free consultations? Number one, we're going to be talking about the current real estate market, the economics, talk about financing, how to find the, uh, the right lender, how to actually obtain the best fees, the things to look out for, what are customary uh, practices on the lending side, how to get the best rates, how to get the best deals, okay? Just saving you a half percentage of point of the life of the loan can save you thousands, 10, 20, 30, $40,000 of the life of the, of the loan, believe it or not. Also, in the consultation, we're gonna be talking about what are customary practices? Who are the major players involved in the real estate transaction? I'm talking about your escrow officer. How to find the right escrow officer. How to find the right title company, okay? A home inspector, a pest inspection, the lender, the agent. So these are the things that you really need to know. It's very important. Also, how much is it really gonna cost you? How to negotiate a deal? What are customary practices? So I can definitely provide you all this information to get you geared up to literally hit the pavement, hit the ground running, so that way you can start looking at homes. So that way you are better prepared when you start submitting offers, you're submitting strong offers and you're not thumbing your way through it. Other than that, uh, I wanna say thanks for tuning in. Please, don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe to my channel. Other than that, thanks for tuning in and have a blessed day.